Oh, snack attack. He's on his last legs anyway. What do I mean on his legs? He's on his deathbed. If I hadn't finished him, he'd have finished himself in a matter of weeks. I'll get rid of him, get rid of some capers, and run with a bag full of money. And the rest of the other people. Who's the first? I'm not counting your wife and her lover. Will you untie my feet? They're going numb. And there was a hoodlum, a monster, in a village. The villagers paid me to get rid of him. And then in the city, a couple of cheap tax collectors. What was it going about? Good, I might well. And sometimes you think you should be alive. So many of us are impressed, Lady Shonagan, by how invaluable you have made yourself to Her Majesty. Oh. Never risen high. I hope I have risen in Her Majesty's esteem. She's the most generous of empresses. She's taken a number of quite lowly girls into her service. She has certainly welcomed into the palace girls who are in need of long and intensive training. It's show talent from the beginning. As you did. Her Majesty was gracious enough to save them. But then although my father was a provincial governor, he spent much of his time here in the city. I myself have known very little of the village. Her misfortune has detained Her Majesty. Has Lord Asagi written much verse of late? Affairs of state occupy much of my time. Do you still compile those sweet little lists of yours? I prefer the work composed. <laughs> and I know I've been called conceited for that. I don't think I am. Some of the lists I do improvise quite freely and carelessly, but with others I take time and great care. I did know from the first that there was a pride in you. But a justified time. Your intelligence, grace, Yes, your sense of humor. It's always so subtle. One might have left your company for many minutes before the subtle meaning of a remark of yours would strike. It might be the next day before.
You take me deep into the forest and leave me. And I'm taken in by a woodcutter and his wife. Well, you will know. I won't get more addicted to this other day. Well, I've got a fairy tale with you, man. I told you that I was coming. And this is all I know, I kind of fancy shit. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not to them, it's not. This all your painful I know it is. I'll be able to Am I supposed to be there for them for you? I disappear. I've been planning to disappear anyway. The huntsman in the story of the river. He was supposed to deliver the princess's heart. I'm supposed to deliver a bag with your actual head in it. says he'll make tackling doping in athletics a top priority in his new role as president of the sport's world governing body, the IAAF. The former Olympic champion has promised to set up an independent anti-doping agency within his first 100 days in office. Jamie Bolsh won a silver medal as part of the British relay team in the 1997 World Championships, but was later upgraded to a gold when a member of the winning team, the USA, admitted using a banned substance. He says he's glad to see Lord Coe at the helm of the IAAF. It's pretty horrible when 13 years later, you know, somebody gets caught on steroids and you get upgraded to a gold medal, you know, and it's pretty much given to win the post. Saying that, you know, with people like Seb now coming through to the IAAF, I feel that he will tackle this. The Labour leadership contender Jeremy Corbyn has conceded that he did share a platform with a controversial pro-Palestinian activist, though he insisted he had no recollection of it. Mr Corbyn said his staff had found that he'd appeared alongside Diab Abu Jaja in 2009, shortly before Abu Jaja was banned from re-entering Britain, but he denied any suggestion he shared his anti-Semitic views, saying he'd spent his life opposing racism in all its forms. Police in Thailand believe the prime suspect in the bombing at a Bangkok shrine on Monday, which killed 20 people, is foreign. They've released a sketch of a man with fair skin wearing a yellow t-shirt. They also want to find two men caught on CCTV, apparently trying to shield him from the cameras. Two people have been arrested in connection with the death of a baby girl in North Wales. Police were called to an address at Penna Groys in Gwynedd on Monday. The baby died in hospital. South Africa's Justice Minister has blocked the planned early release from prison of the athlete Oscar Pistorius. He was due to be transferred to house arrest on Friday after serving 10 months of his five-year sentence for shooting dead his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. The minister, Michael Masuta, said that decision was premature. BBC News. Now on BBC Radio 4, future-proofing. Tamanda Harkness and Leo Johnson explores, explore the ideas which will shape our future. This week is all about identity. How in the future will we answer the question, 